everybody. Well, here we are with Margaret Diarigo. You can hear it. You can see it. We're right out in the middle of her beautiful broccoli rod field where they're harvesting today. This is amazing. Isn't it exciting? Yeah. Great energy. Now, your dad started this. Well, actually, your grandfather started this. Yes. Your third generation. Correct. There, you know, there are not very many women in agriculture. So first of all, thank very you. Very few. <laughs> very <laughs> few. So kudos to that. But secondly, your family actually was a pioneer in bringing the first vegetables here to all of us and, and you produce for the United States. Broccoli was actually our first commercial variety that we grew. Yeah. And what I really like about that is it's, you know, she's a good old Sicilian <laughs> just like me, so I really like that way to go on that. Let's talk about broccoli rot. I want everyone to start using this at home. I know you do too. Absolutely. How is it grown? Okay, so we produce our own seed internally. We have our own research and development team that produces our own seeds, so it's proprietary. Mm -hmm. It's planted on 80 inch beds and then it's for drip irrigation. It produces in about 45 days in this time of year. So it's a really quick crop. What does this taste like for folks? Well, I tell people it has a slightly bitter taste, but okay. it's a really nice flavor. It's really quick and easy to prepare. It's very simple, it's versatile. But can we tell them? Yes. It's not broccoli. Not broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> it's broccoli rob. Exactly. And although it is R-A-B-E, it's pronounced That's rob. correct, yes. And it is more like a mustard green. It's closer to a mustard green in, in flavor also, and then it's from the turnip family. Oh, okay. So it's not even a, it's not a broccoli family at all, so and it's, it's cruciferous. And it's very, very, very popular on the East Coast. Yes. And starting to gain in popularity here. Absolutely. Uh, we're getting more West Coast um, chefs working with it, which is exciting. You can cook this across the across board. Across the board. As a child growing up, Andy Boy is the name of the brand that broccoli, you'll find broccoli rock. Right. It's your dad. That's my dad. <laughs> How is it growing up with your dad as the poster child for vegetables, really? I think it's really exciting. Yeah. And, you know, and the fact that he's still around today and very active in the business is really neat. And he's created a great legacy. And, you know, his face is on vegetables all across the country. It's a pretty amazing story. Your boys. One question. A, yes. do they like broccoli, Rob, and B, will they continue farming? Uh, yeah, well, we're hoping the fourth generation is just going to keep on coming up. We're working on grooming them right now. Good. And uh, my boys definitely know what broccoli, Rob, is because we have it three times a week at home. One of them loves it. The other one, uh, a little tentative. Yeah. But... You work alongside of your brother, and I know how yes. that is. But tell me a little bit the differences that, that you two play in the company. Well, it's a great dynamic because my brother, who's our president, he's um, involved in more the overseeing of the entire business and production and harvesting. Right. And then once the product leaves the field, then I take over, which is the fun part, the sales and marketing, the customers, oh, yeah. and I love the culinary side. I love working with chefs and, and consumers and creating more excitement for it. And seeing Broccoli Rob really develop in more and more restaurants and in recipes and on our table at the end of the day. Exactly. If you're out there talking to customers, what's the biggest thing they ask you about Broccoli Rob? The biggest challenge, number one, is they don't know what it is and they don't know what to do with it. And uh. so we just tell them it's versatile, it's easy, it's simple, take it, bring it home, yeah. saute it. And you're seeing right now where it's being harvested. You see the guys out there. You see who is at the helm, why wouldn't you go out there, grab some, and try it? I know we are today, and it's delicious. You betcha. So let's go check out the harvest, because they're right at our back. What do you think of that? And there's your dad. Yeah, there he that's is. the coolest thing. And <laughs> so then they're just wrapping it like this. And that's how we'll buy it in store. Exactly. When we get it home, we clean it right away and then throw it in our, our I would put it in a stir fry easily. Yeah, I would go straight to a stir fry. If, if the bitterness is a little bit much, then just blanch it for a few minutes, first of all, or steam it. Oh yeah, that's and then a good idea. It. A little yeah. bit of garlic, olive oil. Exactly. And you're set. Well, it's time for us to get out of the way because they've got more harvesting to do. You know what to do, too. Go in and grab your broccoli rice. That is gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah.